All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are at a different course. We're giving you a little bit different of scenery. We are at Kierland Golf Course. I love it out here. I'm so excited to be out here right now playing. It's a perfect Arizona, what is a spring day? It feels like, it, I think it's still considered winter maybe, I'm not sure. Um, it's like 80 degrees today. It's just perfect. It's perfection. Wish you were here. We're gonna play nine holes and we're gonna try and be under par. This course is a resort course. Everything kind of funnels to the middle, so it's definitely gettable. So, let's go get it. All right, trunk slammer as per usual. Oh, that was a stiff swing. That was so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna go drive her off the deck on this one just because the ball's so far beneath my feet that I don't really trust myself, to be honest. And we're still warming up. Shoot. Hopefully, I think that should be all right because everything funnels down, but that's just the warm-up swings, you know? All right. Well, this is what we got. <laughs> Honestly, it's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal. I might just hurt my wedge just slightly, but it's what you get. It's what you get in this situation. So I think I'm gonna play, actually it's only 85 yards, but I think I'm going to play a pitching wedge and do more of just a punch shot because I have a lot of room to run out anyways. Well, that's gonna work. Sit, maybe not actually. Sit. That's not what I had in mind, and I really did hurt my wedge. It's pretty scratched. But that's what I get for hitting it in the dirt in the first place. I have my 56, so I'm gonna let it roll out a little bit more. Settle. Holy cow. Yikes, I need to get my mind right. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, that would have been so sick. And also I just learned off of that putt because I did not hit that very hard. They are rolling. So, good to know. Starting out a little bit rough. A little rough. But... First hole of the day, no big deal. We'll get it back. Um, so this is pretty short par four. We are into the wind. I really like this hole. I don't know why. So let's rip it and get a birdie. There we go. That's a better drive. Mm, 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 mm. 111. It's gonna be a pitching wedge. I just don't wanna leave it short. I have so many memories of leaving it short the last time I played here, which that really shouldn't affect how I'm gonna to play today, but it does. Go in. Oh my gosh, my stomach just dropped. I literally thought that was in. All right, <laughs> let's go make the butt. Dang it, that would have been so cool. I just literally just grabbed any club because it's so close. Shoot, that would have been so sick. All right. Back on track. Back on track. We are even par and I'm gonna fix my little mark and we're gonna keep it rolling. Before we continue on to the next hole, we have a quick message from our very first sponsor. I am so excited to announce that we have our very first sponsor here on this channel. Thank you to Hungry Root for sponsoring today's video. For those of you who don't know what Hungry Root is, it is an online grocery delivery service that also provides healthy, delicious recipes for you to make at home. All you have to do is go online and fill out one of their questionnaires, which is actually pretty fun to do. You get to pick out all of your favorite types of foods, any dietary restrictions, if you're gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, whatever it may be, you can let them know. It makes cooking so much easier when you're getting all of your favorite kinds of foods with new recipes that are healthy, 
that can help you in your health goals delivered right to your door. <laughs> so I got my delivery today and check out this huge box. I'm so excited to open this up and see what's inside. Let's get to it. Here is everything that came in my box. I am so excited to make some of these meals and try some new items that I have never even considered before. Each box comes with your recipes to make the meals that they have provided for you. So I received Thai coconut chicken veggie stir fry. I love stir fries and that was one thing I marked on my questionnaire. Pesto chicken spaghetti, zesty ground chicken taco salad, turkey basil pesto grilled cheese. <laughs> that all sounds amazing and I don't know which one I'm gonna try first. I have been getting really into cooking lately and trying new recipes and trying to teach myself how to cook. It's not always the easiest. So this is just such a great way for me to try new recipes and see other things that I may like and like to make. They also have provided a discount code for all of you. So the first 100 customers to use my discount code will receive 40% off. Be sure to jump on this discount code below. And thank you again, Hungry Root, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to golf. Another, this one's a pretty short part. It's almost the same distance, part four. So, perfect. <laughs> Honestly, this is the best time of year in Arizona. You guys are really missing out. Not to rub it in or anything, but that was so bad. It'll work. It'll be fine. But wow. I feel like I'm swinging so like this over the top. For those of you who don't know what that's called. That's so not good. That's okay. 139, is that right? Let's try again. Yep, 139. Don't wanna be short, and it is in the back. Moving just a little. I honestly, I can't see it. So we'll just have to find it when we get up there. I feel like my swing right now, I know I just had hit that really good shot back there, but it feels like it's on the verge of being so bad where I could have a shank today. <laughs> But as long as I'm like right there, we'll be okay. We'll see. Not bad, not great. Little chip shot. I think on this one, I got my 56 again. I think I'm gonna open it a little bit and just have it check a little faster since the greens are pretty quick. Mm, check hard. Okay, it did. All right. I might need to pull the 60 out today since I'm being a little more aggressive. I totally saw that going this way. Look at the hill right here. How does that break uphill? Anybody, anyone? Bueller, Bueller. I don't understand, but too late. Already happened. Par three next. And I really like the par three, so we can get it back. I forgot, uh, 109. That is my pitching wedge. I'm starting to wonder if I, sh no. We're not changing anything. It's my pitching wedge. Let's hit it. Okay. Go. Probably should have clubbed up on that and just hit a little more of a punch. And when I was about to switch clubs, I thought about that. And then I'm like, no, stick with what you're doing. Should have gone with the gut. It honestly kind of feels like it wants to go right again. Sit, sit, wow, 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 it does go right, but I hit through the break. That is a solid, solid putt. I mean, it just looks like a par on the scorecard, but it feels like a momentum changer to me. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I'm feeling. All right, so par five here, 448. So, you know, I'm gonna stop saying that We're like, oh, this would be, you know, you know what I'm thinking? Like, this would be a good one to make a, I'm not gonna say that anymore because I think I just jinxed myself. So we're not gonna say that. Um, we're gonna say we can hit good shots here. Okay. <laughs> 
That was so loud. That must be where Ping gets its name. That is so short. Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you know what? Should we go drive off the dike here? Maybe we should. Maybe that'll get my driver back in business. Maybe that's all I need. Oh. Hit behind it pretty far, but I mean, either way, it wasn't gonna hit the green, so we're still gonna have a wedge on. No big deal. We're only 95 yards, so that is a lot of wind. I kind of want to hit that punch, punch shot. It'll still be high with this club. This is my, I don't even want to say it, but this is my nine iron, but I'm really gonna take like a half swing punch shot and see if that works a little bit better for me right now. I mean, that's pin high. I kind of thought that, I don't know why. Yeah, that would make sense. I thought that was going to move, but it didn't really, but that's all right. Pin high, we got a birdie putt opportunity. Little breaker here, but this is a putt we can make. So let's try and drain it. Hold that line. No, go, oh my God. Ah, that was so close. I literally th saw it like going like this and I'm like, hold the line, no. And then it kind of came back and then it just wasn't enough. Dang it, okay. But you know, we're right there, we're right there. Let's go get a snack from the bev cart. <laughs> I got a snack. One over through five, but we're heating up, I think. That's a tricky pin spot. Oh, <laughs> that was so wide open. I didn't even make it to the bunker. So we have a chip in our butt. All right, we left ourselves with quite the chip here. Over the bunker, short sided down slope. I mean, this is just all, all bad. This could probably be the worst spot I could have left myself. I think it would have been better to be in the bunker. So with that being said, let's put this ball in the hole. I have my 60, have to open it, lay it flat. I'm gonna have to land it. <laughs> the goal is green here, okay? So I'm gonna try and land it in the fringe up there. It's just a really risky shot. <sighs> that was really like probably a foot from perfection. Thank goodness it made it up there, but, oh man, that was so close. I see like a little pitch mark up there. That's what I'm aiming at. It's gonna break pretty hard. Ugh. The pitch mark was right. I just didn't get it high enough. Two over, so not ideal. And we're going into seven, love seven. Love eight, don't really remember nine. Oh yeah, coming back. We can get it done still, I have faith in us, so let's go. All right, we have a tee that is probably gonna need to be retired. Par four, pretty short par four. Lots of trouble on the left. I love this hole though, it is just such a gettable hole. We have a big audience back here watching us today, lovely. There we go. That's all we needed was a little audience to watch us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 78 yards, wind at my back. But where did that ball just come from? Holy cow, that ball literally just came from like across the green, like over the green. I think I'm gonna stick with my little punch shot because you have to get up there on this hole. Oh my God, that almost hit the pin. It almost hit the pin off the fly, like in the air. That would have been so sick. This was a good shot. I don't see a ball mark, but it honestly looked like it was about to hit it off the fly. So I probably, well, I bounced and then almost hit it. Definitely quick. I see it moving down towards the water, which you would think it should, but you know, you never know on this course right now. Oh my gosh, thank the Lord, because that had that perfect roll. Whoo, okay, I'm happy. 
I'm happy. We got two birdies on our scorecard. We're still one over. So we got a little bit of a roller coaster going on, but I love the next hole and we just got that momentum change. So let's just keep it rolling. I don't know why I like this par three. I think I like elevated par threes just because then you can like see everything. You have to club down. All right, I mean 152, probably club down at least one club. Choke down seven iron. Be good. All right, all right. A little much, so probably had to club down a little bit more. Not the right club choice. Again, you gotta be quick. I see it moving down to the left. I'm gonna try and roll it over that, like just inside that dead or that old cup. That is really moving. That like moved right off the bat. Shoot, typical Haley, I left a long putt. <laughs> okay, Whew. all right. Par puts us at still one over going in to the last hole. And I really do like the last hole. I have birdied it before. And when I say that, it's not like I've played here a ton of times. Okay, you guys, so I have birdied it before. I wanna, we should be at least even par on this course. So let's get after it. Hole nine, par five, we're one up gotta make a birdie or better um water on the left this is an iconic hole honestly iconic hole for an iconic gal <laughs> okay that should be all right that should kick down just hit it a little bit right but that honestly it's probably gonna be right in the fairway so it's probably a good spot actually so we have like 260 into the green. Obviously I can't reach it. I'm going to set myself up on that right side to give myself good access to eagle this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I literally topped that so bad if you didn't notice. Um, it's fine because we're probably gonna have like 130 in, but wow, I almost missed the ball together and my knee popped. Oh well, <laughs> this will make a uh, birdie finish or even cooler. All right, 125. I'm gonna club up, hit my eight iron, do that punch shot again. I wanna get this, I really wanna get this. We gotta get over those bunkers 100%. And get this birdie. That's right at it. Go, go. Oh my gosh. As soon as I saw that get up in the air, I'm like, oh, there's a lot of wind up there that you probably, like we aren't feeling as much. I think we're on the green, we're over the bunker. I think we're on the green, but we are going to have a long putt. Dang, I hit that so pure too. The putt to win it all. <laughs> I'm really gonna go after it. So this one is uphill. Overall, it kind of feels like it wants a break left. So this is for all the marbles. This is just to be even par today. I gave it a chance for sure. I mean, at first that line was really looking good. When I lined up in the end, I kind of adjusted a little bit because I wasn't trusting it and I probably should have just trusted it. So we did not finish under par today, but let's make this putt so we can just finish one over. It's there, it's right there. Well, you guys, all that means is we're gonna have to do this again because <laughs> I am not walking away from this course without an under par round. Thanks for watching, see you next time.